Feels great. Um, you know, it, it's funny that you say that because it was uh, maybe didn't feel as clean as we wanted to, but if you look at the numbers and, and obviously the score at the end, uh, we're happy with the outcome. I mean, to hit uh, in the 200s, uh, a bunch of kills, live come out the way she did. Um, I think really minus our serving, where we missed way too many serves, uh, we played a pretty clean game today. And uh, I've been saying all year long that this Davenport team is a good team and they were going to come to play. They were not going to be easy to beat. And they proved that here tonight. They don't make a lot of mistakes. And uh, when they did, I thought we capitalized on them. But uh, no, it wasn't our cleanest match, but it was a win. And in this conference, uh, like I said, those aren't easy to come by. And uh, we're happy to come out with the W. You know, uh, that's a good question. I, I, I do agree with you. I think they came in playing very confidently. Um, and to be honest with you, I thought we stole that first set. I don't think, uh, you know, that we lose that set. That's a whole different story. You know, who knows what happens afterwards. But um, I, I you know, the way we played with our back against the wall in the first set, again, um, you know, whether it's first set or third set, there's been many times this year where we've had our back against the wall and, and come all the way back. So uh, I guess that's the silver lining I'll take out of that first one. And it was ended up being an important one, that, you know, in the fourth set win. So I think we finally caught our, our groove in the fourth. Um, but yeah, you know, Davenport is a good team. They have a great middle in number 22. Number 16, I have a lot of respect for as an outside. Um, I think they're gonna they're gonna win a lot more games this year, and uh, I'm extremely glad that we only have to play them one time here in the in the regular season. Right. No, they make you they, you know they make like a player like Olivia or Mariah really take uh, shots. I mean we have to we have to they they dug everything. You're right, um, especially in that second set. I mean I don't think we made a ton of errors. They just were they were playing well defensively. Ironically, I thought what made the difference on defense in the match is our blocking. Um, which was something that was nice to see. You know, we we're not usually the strongest blocking team. Um, we all know that. We talk about that sometimes. Our offense is usually our strongest point, but I thought our blocking came up huge for us this match, um, and I was really happy to see that. Um, the thing with Olivia is just she's just playing wonderfully. I mean, can't say enough about what she's doing. Um, but uh, I may have said this in the pregame. You know, with Mariah on the right, you just can't ignore her. She's she can be, you know, explosive, and she had a nice match for us here tonight. Um, both Amelia and Ping are doing their jobs very well in the middle. They're being efficient with the ball. Um, when they're given the ball, they're taking care of the ball. I thought they both blocked really well for us, and Anna had double-digit kills for us tonight. And as always, serves great and passes wonderfully. Dug 20 times. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a total team effort. Uh, I think led by Laura. Uh, at the center position and Megan at the libero position. There, there are two, our four leaders right now um, with great hitters like Mariah and, and Olivia and, and a great backcourt you know, with Megan and Anna. Um, I really like where we are, where we are and um, yeah, I think the ball's being spread around really well. There was a play in the fourth set where Anna got blocked and it was like straight down. And I remember just looking at her and kind of smiled about it. The very next ball, she took a rip and just smoked it for a kill. She's a tough player, um, and she's she's able to score when she's really swinging aggressively. But you know, uh, at the same time, you know, between her and Neils, but you know, Mariah with uh, I believe it was the set winner uh, in the third set with the tip like that. You know, we saw Anna do that a couple times. Liv has had uh, a lot of success with her off-speed shot. So some intelligence with our offense here too. That's kind of uh, pushing us over the edge, I would say. Yeah, we missed 14 serves tonight, and no matter what we're trying to do with our, our serving, 14 is too many. And so we can all agree on that. So that's one thing. We had nine aces, though. Yeah. And so that, I think that's what you're getting at. I mean, with, with I said to the team afterwards, if we have 14 or even like 11 misses, but we only have two or three aces, then it's a different story. Yeah. But those nine aces were huge, and um, they, they were very important. So I, I, I think it's... It's one of those things, I'd like us to miss less serves. I think we all know that. Uh, the team certainly knows that. Um, and, but you can't back up. You can't back off on the service line. And I'm glad we didn't because those, like I said, those aces came up big for us, especially in the third and fourth set. Uh, we have an opportunity to, to uh, we're about to hit the road after tomorrow for a couple, couple weeks. And so we have an opportunity to beat a good Grand Valley team who wins a lot of volleyball games, has won a lot of volleyball games over time. We have a chance to play them here on our home court uh, before we hit the road. It's a great opportunity to leave for that road trip 6-1 uh, in the GLIAC. That would be a great place to be, and I think that's what we're fighting for a month.